Hey guys, Jack here from Travel with Jack and Kitty. We had a fun weekend. On Friday, Kitty and I went to Swingin' in the Street here in downtown Winona. We thought it'd be fun to show you what it was like. You know, I was always a weird, weird kid. When I was about five or six, I was rummaging through the attic and I found a stack of these weird looking things. I found out they were called records, but they weren't normal records like you find Taylor Swift selling at Target. No, these were called 78s. What that means is that when you put them on a turntable, they spin really, really, really fast. 78 revolutions per minute. Taylor Swift spins her music at 33 and a third revolutions a minute. These 78s, well, they were from a way long time ago. In fact, they were around for the birth of recorded sound. Without realizing it, up in the attic, I had found my great grandpa's record collection. Old, hot jazz, big band swing, old-timey polkas. This was the music he listened to when he was a kid, and now I was a kid, listening to the same thing. Those 78 revolutions per minute ended up stirring a revolution in the way I saw the world. I stopped watching what was on TV and started looking for old movies. Scenes from a black and white world where things were simple, time was slow, and folks were kind. Not like the world I found myself living in. These vintage records, the old films, the culture I was becoming obsessed with, it set the stage for something I would spend my adolescence and early adulthood searching for. A home that was simple, where time moved slow, and folks were kind. That search brought me around the world. Kitty and I have lived everywhere from Nashville to New York, Burlington, Vermont, to Tulsa, Oklahoma, with a lot of stops in between. For some reason, the town of Winona has always been in the back of my mind, like an old movie flickering in and out of the shadows of time, or like an old record that keeps on playing, the sounds and the grooves never fading away. You see, I went to school here, flunked, <laughs> flunked my way out of a creative writing degree at Winona State University. Somehow I've made my living as a writer though. I guess life is funny that way. I didn't really like going to college here. In fact, I hated it. But what I did like was the town, the feel, the vibe. I grew up in Minneapolis and no matter how many times Kitty and I tried living in the Twin Cities, we'd always want to escape to Winona whenever we'd have a free weekend. Somehow we found ourselves back in Winona. Moved back here late, late last summer. There was no grand plan, no real reason. We just followed our hearts and went where it felt like home. So this past weekend, I wandered around 3rd and Center Streets, just taking it all in. I watched the dancers, swinging to jazz, bopping to a polka, waltzing in Winona, and I realized something. I finally found what I've been looking for ever since I was a kid, crawling through my attic, listening to my great-grandpa's old-timey records. I found the place that was simple, where time moved slow and folks were kind. I found a home in Winona, Minnesota.